Welcome to CSA Biology ECP. I'm Mr. Wilson from the Academy. Today we're looking at question number three from the May June 2022 paper for Agriculture Science Single Award. If you have not yet liked, share, or subscribe, it is time for you to do so now. And when you subscribe, please be reminded to click that notification bell and send it all. You'll be notified as soon when you select like it will be saved to your playlist so you'll have it to play at your convenience when you share you will receive more agricultural videos that will help you to prepare for your exams leave us a comment and tell us where in the caribbean you are watching from and from what school you are watching in our next publication on the 2022 page We'll call the names and school for all the persons who benefits. Let's move right into question number number three, section two. Answer all questions in this section. Write your answers in the space provided in this booklet. Three. On a recent field trip on agriculture station it was explained that the soil profile plays a key role in determining the suitability of an area for agricultural production bigotry represent a typical soil profile of the area look at a diagram then we'll look at our graph. state the name of a layer labeled Q and R. So Q is horizon A, also called the topsoil. R is horizon B, also called the subsoil. So Q there being topsoil, and you're seeing R as well. Which layer in the soil profile is responsible for influencing the mineral content of the soil? This is going to be a tricky question. I understand that a lot of persons would just go ahead and say it is the topsoil, but I'm sorry, it is the bedrock will form that determining factor. Farmer Sam cultivates vegetable intensively and it's one hectare farm in the area the extension officer told him that the soil profile layer p is the little layer and on his farm this layer was too thin advise farmer sam on two cultural practices he can use to improve the thickness of layer P in the soil on his farm. All right, interestingly, here we have to look at cultural methods or cultural practices. So, one, he could grow cover crop and use the green manure. So, just to grow the cover crop, um, of course, it leaves will fall and that will add to layer P. And of course, the manure itself is probably chopping up plant in the field and leaving it there that will help in increasing the thickness add animal manure to the field. so you might have a compost that you put only animal uh, dung in and then you will of course apply it to the field at the right time so that you will have contamination ask for two but we looked at others you could of course increase the organic mulch within the field and that too would help you can add compost you might have a, a compost heap that has um, farm refuse you could add that to your field and that will definitely increase the thickness of layer P an experiment at the research station an experiment was conducted to determine water retention in three different soil types 
A, B, and C. Three funnels were lined with filter paper and each of them was placed over a measuring cylinder. 100 gram of each type of soil, A, B, and C, which was air dried, was placed in the three funnel and 100 ml of water was poured over the soil in each. The water drained from the soil filtrate was collected in each case in the measuring cylinder. The experiment lasted for 30 minutes. Figure 4 shows the result for each of the size samples. If you look carefully at the size samples, the one which had the most water passing through would have been C. The one with the least water passing through the funnel and the filter paper would have been B. And then, of course, soil sample A stands between C and B, as it were, for the filter. Let's look at our task. Identify the soil type which are most likely to produce the results in B and C. Now, clay will not allow much water to pass through as the particles are very close together, so it will have the least amount of water passing through. C, on the other hand, the particles are far apart, hence the water will pass through much faster. Soil sample B was obtained from farmer in their vegetable farm. Identify one problem he may encounter in his soil during the rainy season. So the area may experience flooding or some might say ponding. So just two methods that farmer Endar can use to alleviate the problem identified in two. So he could add manure to the soil to improve the soil porosity. He could also cut drains in the field to channel the water away from the field. This brings us to the end of question number three. If you have not yet, make sure that you like, share, and of course, subscribe. When you subscribe, remember to click that notification and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there is a new publication. When you click like, the video goes to your playlist and you can watch it at your convenience. Remember to leave a comment. Tell us which school you are watching from and which island you are from. We're seeing those persons from Grenada, Jamaica, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Guyana. And we're going to be naming these students and their schools in the next video, which is question number two until we next meet remember to study to show thyself approved on the screen you'll find some videos a playlist for your agriculture pass paper a playlist for your hsb pass paper and a playlist also for your biology pass paper remember there's a little white circle at the top of the screen with a black exclamation mark click on it and you'll also find what good. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC biology, HSB, English language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today.